What's up everybody, Garrison Dunn here, and I wanted to make this video to let everyone know what the deal is with this Instagram account. So, I don't know if you guys saw this, but a couple of days ago, this Instagram account got big posting videos of this account harassing this dog. I'm obviously not going to monetize this for obvious reasons, even though this guy is actually a good person, as you're going to find out later. So this guy was posting videos of dogs getting harassed. Everyone started commenting hate threats on his page. And I even did it myself. I even said, I mean, that's messed up. Why would you do such a thing like that? It's not even all abuse. It's really just dogs in shelters. And what people thought was, since he had a language barrier, he would have a shelter and then keep these dogs in company and then abuse them. But the whole thing was, is that he was actually posting videos of people around his area and giving awareness. And again, people didn't think that was the right idea. I mean, it's really fucked up because people saw these dogs just getting harassed. I'm not going to show you guys the explicit videos, but I'm going to show you guys his actual account to make sure you guys aren't leaving death threats or anything because this guy actually sounds like a good man. No bad because of all the language barriers this guy had to deal with. So this is his account right now. It's called real underscore dogs underscore rights protection. It actually was something else, but he changed it. So what happened was, yeah, if you click these videos... You can still see all these fucking terrible comments and stuff on this page, but it's actually just these dogs in the shelters just getting help and of what they need. And then there's another video right here. Of him just being nice, and then you just look at these comments and everyone's flipping out on him because you think these other videos, I guess he took down because of how bad they seem to look. It actually weren't. So here's this selfie. You can look at all these comments saying, oh, you're ugly, like, fuck you and all this stuff. And then what happens when you scroll way up is he had a post saying, like, oh, again, I'm not an abuser. I'm not doing anything wrong. You know, I'm in animal rights protection. Uh, some people hurt dogs and I'm just trying to make some awareness. And I only feed him and pet him. And like, this wasn't him. And I'm glad he found a way to get out through people. This account just got massive over the past couple of days, and you probably have seen it if you follow a bunch of some of your favorite Instagram accounts. And again, there was a language barrier, and that's why you couldn't understand what he was saying when he was posting all of this, um, I guess, Arabic language. And again, thanks to my friend Max. If you guys want to question any of these facts or whatever, just check them out on his Instagram, I'll put it in the description. I mean, the thing was, I mean, there's different Reddit posts and other website forums saying like how he was a good guy and thank God for those. They looked up his Instagram, this stuff came up because if it wasn't for this, this guy could still be getting these hate comments. I just feel bad because I'm sure maybe, I don't know if you, any of you guys would have seen him, but would have left all the comments, but that's just terrible. Again, he said he couldn't speak English and I just feel bad for that. And again, he says, I'm sorry for the most understanding. Those videos posted were not mine. Posted those to show a cruel some people can be towards animals. I myself take care of many stray dogs, as you can see, and never mistreated them. I love animals. Always have given protected and given them shelter. These videos were not mine. Again, I'm glad he, how he posted that and everything. Really, really nice how he did that. Again, here's some pictures of him with dogs. I'm going to like that photo because of respect. Then I did some more research myself. And what I looked up and I found some fucked up shit and what I found was this other account that actually was and I'm not going to show this video because it's against YouTube guidelines. But if you guys want, I, I, I don't even, I can't, I have no words because this dog is just getting like, I mean, fuck, it's so, it almost put me to tears just watching this fucking video. And I thought this was a good guy originally, but no, this fucking, this sick fuck, he doesn't have anything. He's just have these like 15, like this, this fucking guy, you know, there's no language barrier. There's no nothing. And what makes me scared about this stuff is for all the fucking shit that's going on out there and that's not being recorded, the stuff that we're not seeing. And thank God we're seeing this now and we can put a somewhat end to it. I mean, throwback to you, Ulan. Uh, 2016 or whatever that was when they were just eating them again That's some people's food, but that you just can't do that You know and just make that some kind of social media trend. That's that's fucked up And I'm glad they stopped it 
And this guy, I mean, I'm not even going to blur out his name. It's just, it's so degrading. And I'm sorry, guys, for the disappointing video, but I had to let everybody know that he actually was, in fact, a good guy. And so you guys wouldn't comment death threats on him. And also, guys, thanks for the one Snapchat video. If you guys didn't see that, put this right here. Fucking exploded. Insane. 100k views in two days. You guys are unreal. You guys subscribe from that Snapchat video. Stay on to this channel. This is only the beginning. And it should be a fun ride. Thank you guys for watching this video. I'm sorry for the depressing video. I'm also very sick, if you couldn't tell. I wasn't almost going to record this video, but... If you guys liked it, please hit the like button. If you really liked it, subscribe button. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.